Shabbat Shalom. How are you? Shabbat Shalom. How are you? Good. Yourself? Good, good, good. You're uh, not working today? No. Good. good, and, good, I good. Actually, and I actually have a three-day weekend, which is nice. Oh, good, 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 good. How's it going for you? It's a little crazy because we're now we're trying to figure out how to slowly increase the number of people in our clinic without having them all congregate in the waiting room. Yeah. So yeah. it's, um, and then, you know, sometimes obviously people do need to be seen. So what's the best PPE to use? We've been swabbing people in our parking lot. Um, we just had one come back positive yesterday. So it's, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, obviously keep doing what we do as, as a medical facility without yeah. endangering anyone. All right. And do you worry for yourself? Sometimes. Um, mostly I, you know, I'm in my office and when I'm in my office, I just wear a mask. But if I have to do any sort of uh, direct care, then I'll, you know, wear a little bit more substantial PPE. Good, good. But, good. you know, honestly, I, I kind of wish that there were at times that I could just stay in my house because that's probably the safest. But are you doing telehealth? We are. Um, yeah. But um, we always want some people in the clinic um, you know, just in case there's, you know, somebody physically comes, who, you know, emergency. So we, we rotate actually. Sometimes <coughs> people are in the clinic and sometimes people are, are working from home. Yeah. Good. But, but actually for, I mean, for me, this, the, um, the leadership we've been in clinic all the time. Yeah. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? Okay. How's everybody? Good. Good, good, good. Oh, I need haircut. Yeah. I'm, I know. Paula. I'm having my, uh, uh, my hair is like going all which way in the mornings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's got its own personality for all of us, right? For all oh, of us. yeah. <laughs> so, Kendra brought an hour services last night. It was good. It was less people, like 55, yeah. maybe logins. But yeah. Nice. Yeah. Maybe people are away for the holiday weekend. That could be. Yeah. No, I was being facetious. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to well, go. I, I, well, I know some people, um, uh they'll, they'll have a some of my friends at least they have a cabin um yeah. by the southern tier and they just isolate there so yeah yeah, yeah okay. abby actually went to cabin yeah abby, that's, that's right Marcia. yeah and Ke they went cat skills yeah that's and L lori laura lieberman was uh, on the kayak kayaking you could see yeah. the kayaking yeah <laughs> it's great it's great I, laura lauren was kayaking yesterday during the service yeah. Rushy, really? Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Rabbi Kiat said, this is my first ever service that somebody was kayaking through. Like Genius. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. So I think we should, we should come up with like a contest to see who could be doing the most interesting thing while also doing service. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it wouldn't count the clergy. That's it. That's well, right. It's, yeah. I'm not kayaking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. When we shake, when we we shake it up, when we change our location in our house, right? You know, and then and then figure out who has, you know, where the best Wi best best Wi Fi isn't, you know. <laughs> well, mom remembers that when we went to a spa a couple of years ago in the cat in the uh, Poconos, I had my phone with me, which I proceeded to drop in the lake. There was the end of that. Right. So I'm not sure I would do kayaking either. Right, right. It's it's like patting your head and rubbing your stomach in a kayak. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Good. Good. Hi, Donna. Shabbat Shalom. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Donna. I don't know who is uh, uh, 25 or what's that phone number? 325? Who, who is that? Tell us who you are. I don't even see it. Yeah, 585 uh, 325. <clears throat> tell, tell us who you are. I think you're muted still. Yeah. No, don't know. Okay. We'll wait a couple more minutes. Oh, Marilyn. Maybe it was Marilyn trying to connect. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat Hi. shalom. I love your hearings. You're, you're yeah. muted, Mar Marilyn. You're still muted. No, Marilyn Rosen. Oh, hi. Good to see everybody. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Marilyn, that's not you. Did you also call in? No. Okay. So we don't know who that person is. Okay. <clears throat> Marilyn, I love your earrings. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. I dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have to. You know. <laughs> right. That's it. That's it. We can see, right? <laughs> this morning at uh, Torah study, we were, uh, it was almost all, all men and uh, one woman and uh, one woman and then another one and who had to leave partway through. So it was almost all men. It looks like this morning we're almost all women, right? I, I wonder if, uh, if, that, if, that, if that means something or just coincidence. I think probably just coincidence, <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe there is like Mahitsa somewhere in Zoom, you know? That's it. That's it. <laughs> I, 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 for, my, uh, for my part, I slept until about 9.30. So that was, that was the end. That was, the, that was uh, my, my excuse. Yeah, yeah. Good. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. We're glad that you're here and uh, and, and thankful to, to see you and uh, and to know that you're with us in, in, in prayer and in energy. And what looks like is going to be another beautiful day today. Uh, so I hope that uh, your Shabbat will involve some some time at some point to uh, to be outdoors as well. And, uh, you, you know, with so much talk now about opening and reopening, um, and houses of worship, and, and you're all watching, you know, and reading the same news I am. I'm grateful to know that our house of worship has always been open. We just changed, you, you know, how we're meeting for the time being, but uh, we have always remained open. And uh, and that is in part what Matovu celebrates, right, is, is the, yes. the, the beauty of our space together and the beauty of our time together. So yeah. I will, um, in just one moment... Um, yeah. I will uh, mute everybody, and then we will. Uh, how goodly are your How goodly are your tents? That tents can be anywhere. That's right, and sometimes tents are kayaks. So I'm going to mute everybody for uh, for now, and then we'll unmute everybody at the end. Captain Ron, just give me one second. And uh, we, we look very forward to, uh, to, to joining with you in, in prayer and in song and in movement and, uh, and start by wishing you a Shabbat Shalom. As uh, Rebecca, as you correctly note that we say how goodly are our tents, we start off by, uh, by singing Matovu together. Matovu, Matovu, I don't know. 
keenly we all are aware of our, our bodies right now, uh, what is serving us well, what is uh, healthy and strong, what needs our attention. And we, we notice that and we give thanks as we say, praise to you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who formed the human body with skill, creating the body's many pathways and openings. It is well known before your throne of glory that if one of them be wrongly opened or closed, it would be impossible to endure and stand before you. And we say, blessed are you, Adonai, who heals all flesh, working wondrously. Baruch Ata Adonai, Rofecho Basar Umafli Laasot. Please join me, Ms. Elohan and Shema. <laughs> As we pray together, I find my experience, not by reasoning, but by my own discovery that God is near me and I can be near God at all times. I cannot explain it, but I, as am, but I am as sure of my experience as I am of the fact that I live and I love. I cannot explain how I have come to live and love, but I know I do. In the same way, I know I am in contact with God. Continue with Psalm 150, and um, again, we always encourage you to clap your hands, move your bodies, bring any percussion instruments, if you have pets and, not pets, pans and pots from your kitchen, uh, spoons, wooden spoons or metal spoons, anything you have to make a sound, um, that will be great. Thank you. 
your spirit. I see everybody participating. Thank you. Praised are you, sovereign of wonders, crowned in adoration, delighted in song, eternal majesty. Please join me. <laughs> Continue with our call to worship. We invite you, please, in body or in spirit, to rise as we continue. <laughs> The world is beyond our knowledge, greater than our understanding. Help us, God, to accept what we cannot understand, to love the beauty of creation without trying to control it. Teach us to bend with life, to repair what we can repair, to live with our questions, and to rejoice in your wonders. Baruch atah Adonai Yotzer HaMerot. Praised are you, Adonai, creator of all heavenly lights. As we, as we look at the bright spots as we look at all the wondrous moments that there are and have been and please God will continue to be. We say great is your love. Praised be you Adonai who chooses your people Israel in love. Baruch atah Adonai habocher be'amo Yisrael be'ahava. Shema Yisrael Adonai Please be seated. Please join me. The Avtahed Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Levavcha, Bechol Nafshecha, Bechol Meodecha, Behayu Advarim Haele, Asher Anokim Etzabecha, Hayom Alevavecha. Vishinantam Libanecha, Vidibarta Baham, Vishitha Bevetecha, Nubletecha Baterech, Usha Becha Kumecha, Ukshartam Lehota Yadecha, Vera Yule Rodafon Bedinecha, Ukta Tam of Mizuzot Betecha Visharecha. Like Moses, Miriam, and all Israel, we sing out and we rejoice. <clears throat> Okay, guys, please, I'm in the service. <laughs> 
Continue now as we head toward the tefillah and we say, pray as if everything depends on God, but act as if everything depended on you. And we invite you, please, in body or in spirit, to join us as we rise for the tefillah. Adonai sevata tiftahu fi yagi tehilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzhak Eloi Yaakov, Eloi Sora, Eloi Rivka, Eloi Rachel, Eloi Leia, El Hagado, Hagibor, Behanora, El Elion, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Bekone Hakol, Bezoher has the Abot Vimahot, who may be Gilad if Ye 
And please be seated. When we look at what is our joy for the day and, and our thanks for the day and the beauty of the day, there are any number of things that we could list and any number of things that we could hope for and aspire toward. And our song, our spirit, our being together in community is what helps us get there and what helps us frame this morning and the rest of this day as it unfolds and we unfold with it into the beauty of Shabbat. Please join us. Please join me with Yismechu. We say Kiddushat Hayom. We offer thanks, O oh God, for the Shabbat which unites us in faith and in hope. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Praise to you, Adonai, who sanctifies Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, HaMachazir Shechina Tolitzion. Blessed are you, Adonai, whose presence returns to Zion. And as we give thanks, we say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Lachana El Hodot. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. We continue with our prayer for peace and shalom. I know that I surprised you with the new Yismachu, and I hope you liked it. Um, this is very um, 
old melody, I would say it was Regia Clapper. And it seems like you caught up on the chorus. I saw you singing and, you know, moving hands and your lips were, sing you were singing. So that's wonderful. We have another Yismahu under our belt. So, Mazel Tov. So we're going to our old Sim Shalom and I'm looking forward to your responses. Sim Shalom Tova Ubraha Hein Vahesed Verachamim Verachamim Aleinu Ve'akol Yisrael Ve'al Kol Yisrael Amecha Barcheinu Yatsrein Kulano Kechad Be'or Panecha Ki Be'or Panecha Natata Lanu Adonai Eloheinu Sim Shalom Sim shalom tova uvracha, hein vaheset verachamim verachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, t'rat chayim ve'ahavat chesed, ve'ahavat chesed, u'tzedak uvracha verachamim, v'chayim v'shalom. Sim shalom. Sim shalom tova uvracha, hein vahesed verachamim verachamim aleinu, ve'al kol Yisrael, ve'al kol Yisrael amecha, v'to b'necha levarech et amcha Yisrael, b'cholet uv'chol shah, b'shlomecha. Sim Shalom. Sim Shalom, Tova Uvracha, Hein Vahesed Verachamim Verachamim Aleinu, Ve'al Kol Yisrael, Ve'al Kol Yisrael Amecha. The, uh, the, the pieces that we, uh, that we most assuredly miss from being in person are being in person and and the harmonies that can be created when we are all in the same place and this is uh, next best as we continue to move forward our voices together and uh, our voices in our individual places but uh, but 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 sure as we are a community, we remain a community um, in our prayers for peace. We continue each of us and all of us in some way in, in meditation and prayer and in some silence.
gather our, our prayers, our, our hearts together for those who are ill, those who are struggling and those who are suffering and those who are in need of, of strength and of courage and of patience and of, uh, of, of completeness of care. As we say, Mishaber Chavotenu V'yimotenu Avraham Yitzchak V'yakov, Sara Rivka Rachel V'leah Hu Yivarech Et Acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and strengthen those who are struggling, those who are ill. In our community, we are praying for Thomas DiMatteo, Mark Friedman, Elizabeth Friedman, Dorothy Jacobson, Shana Esther Bat Rachel, Chris Sora, Joel Shamaskin, Ayanecha Bat Rivalea, Simon Brightman, Barbara Baer, Katriel Parachia Ben Herschel Laser Vishoshana, Michael Weistreich, Sally Graf, Sam Webby, Sarah Bat Avraham Vissara, William Fawcett Jr., Alan Skirker, Muriel Steinberg, Chaim Ben Sarah Dina Vihoshua, Jeffrey Sussman, Laura Braun, Sima Ruchel Bat Esther Fredo, Margaret Kanner, Leslie Lockett, Bobby Johnson, Chaim Ben Zalman Vivela, Shulamit Buzo, Francis Reichold, Neil Rapp, Raymond Condone, Hilda Ring, Gil Maker, Susan Silton Tobias, and Asher Ben Sviva Shulamit. And we add to our prayers any of those whom you would add to the chat box at this time. Gerald Dreyer, Aaron Nehemia Ben Sara, Jason Wyland, and Matt Jones. Joshua Ocampo and Al Rothschild. Let's add to our prayers those who have nobody to, to say a prayer of healing and of strength and care for them. As we say, may the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God send them renewal of body and of spirit and let us join together in saying, Amen. Amen. May the source of strength for bless their ones be for us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Pray for the healing of, of all those who are in, in need, and, uh, and there are many, and there are many. We continue now. We will be, um, we're starting a new book. We will be um, reading from the Midbar now. We start the book of, of Numbers, and uh, we know that this book um, comes to us one month, this, the, this narrative comes to us one month after the setting up of the sanctuary in the desert. That's where the word Bamidbar comes from. So in Hebrew, the book is called Bamidbar, but in English, the book is called Numbers. It is, uh, usually there's a, a tighter correlation that we can see between things like Breshit, the first book, which means in the beginning, and Genesis, right? There's, there's more of a correlation than the words Bamidbar in the desert and, and Numbers. Um, but here, it's here where, where God commands Moses to take a census uh, of all the Israelite males over the age of 21. For those who I think were, were at services last night, Rabbi Katz talked a little bit more about the census and the importance of, count, the importance of counting. Um, 
how each place, there's a beautiful, um, very, very helpful image in the Plout commentary. You know, for those of you who have it at home, you can see how each of the, the houses of the Israelites, each of the tribes, were actually assigned a different part around um, uh, around the sanctuary to, 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 to be camped around the tabernacle for, it, for the respective service. Um, God instructs Moses and Aaron regarding all of their responsibilities in this book. We, we see a lot of names, a lot of names. And this is really, um, if you can get past all the names of so the names and the numbers are important as well, it's important to count and be counted. It really talks about how we as a community figured out uh, how we in the desert figured out to be a community and, and how to serve. And this is where we find God taking up um, uh, some say residency in, in the Mishkan, in the tabernacle. It's, it's a good opportunity for us to see how God moved with us as a people, how we figured out how to be in the desert alone and without. Uh, there are some that say that there are a lot of correlations to right now. Uh, I'll, I'll let you determine that as we read a little bit. So we're going to, um, we're going to read some verses from from the Midbar. In, in you know, again, keeping in mind that that means in the wilderness or in the Torah. Um, and I want you just to pay attention, if you would, to the very first verse. You'll see it. I'm going to screen share, um, and you will see. Uh, this is. Uh, our text. Um, we'll do a little bit of jumping around, but but I thought maybe it would be good for for us all to see what what the text looks like. Um, do I have um, somebody who would like to read uh, the English? You don't have to do the names. We're gonna we're doing the yellow part, so you don't have to do all the names if that was what uh, what freaked you out. Um, someone who would read the English for us once we say our bracha. Anybody? Anybody? Ellen, would you would you mind reading for us? Great. Okay, let me unmute you. I can Thank do you the so names much. too. Yeah, I know, I know, I know you could do the names yeah. and then some, but we're gonna do a it's little crazy. bit of jumping. You'll see it's highlighted in, in yellow. So yeah, yeah. we'll say that we'll say the bracha uh, to, to start. And then if you would read for us the first bit in, in the yellow, that would be great. Cantor, would you help us with the bracha? <laughs> Baruch Amen. On the first day of the second month, in the second year following the Exodus from the land of Egypt, the Eternal spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tent of meeting saying, take a census of the whole Israelite community by the clans of its ancestral houses, listing the names every male head by head. You and Aaron shall record them by their groups from the age of 20 years up, all those in Israel who are unable to bear, who are able to bear arms. Associated with you shall be a man from each tribe, each one the head of his ancestral house. These are the names of the men who shall assist you from Reuben Elitzur, son of She Deor. And we're gonna, well, we'll stop just there for one second. I'm actually going to, if I can, um, I'm gonna unmute everybody in one second. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll look at this first chunk together. Um, uh, hold on one second. If I can. I can hold on one second. Uh, well, maybe not. One second. Let me just. Uh, there we go. Uh, hold on one second. We are going to. Um, I should be able to unmute you. There we go. Okay, there you go. Everybody should be unmuted. Um, sorry about that. Uh, when I 
give you the text like this, it's harder to find the other controls. So just in this first little bit of yellow, the first little bit, what, what do you notice? Aside from the yellow, which is not in the Torah text, as you know. And anything catch your attention? Where does, where does God speak to Moses? In the, in the tent. No. Not quite. No, not quite. Well, yeah, in the tent of meeting, but, but well, yes, in the tent of meeting. But more broadly, Bamidbar, right? The text says Bamidbar, in the wilderness, in the desert. So people have asked for generations and generations why does so much of our history happen in the desert, right? We've got this incredible promised land. Why the desert? Because the wine way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That was, that's something from the Friday night literature. It is, it is. And, and how do you understand that, Rebecca? What, what, uh, what do you understand that to mean? Well, that but before you can get to the promised land, you have to endure um, well, the desert, you have to endure trials and what, um, it, I guess whatever does not kill you makes you stronger type thing. No, oh, we're not going to say that right now. Right. <laughs> right. True. But, but right. Yeah. Right. But, but what is it right? That the, the question becomes, what is it that, that, um, that our people and, 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 and that we today, right. Might learn being in the wilderness, being in the desert. Right. Right. What, what is it that can be, could, can be gleaned, right? Because, it, it, you know, God could have spoken, God, right? Moses could have taken the people right to the promised land, and the Torah could have been given in a place that was much more hospitable than the desert, right? Right. We know that the desert was, a, was, was an abundantly inhospitable place for the people, right? What else do you think? Yeah, go ahead. Alternatively, Moses wouldn't ask for directions. Right. <laughs> right, right. We, we, we know that too. There are all kinds of mean, memes about that as well. Right, right. Uh, some people say, actually, some of our commentators say, Abba Ibn actually said, uh, you know, a, a very profound historian and Israeli statesman said um, that we were too few at the time and that we weren't actually um, uh, well suited. And we, we weren't quite literally well suited to, to battle. Right, to battle the Philistines, that we had to figure out how to be uh, a, not just a people in numbers, but how to be a strong and an organized mm -hmm. people before we could be ready to receive the Torah. And the desert was in place. Uh, it took us 40 years in the desert to figure out how to be strong enough to, to reconquer our, our land, right? That it was a strategic time for us as a people. A any other thoughts about why the desert? Okay, let's, uh, yeah, anybody else at all or no? People are, if you, if you want to talk, by the way, you're still muted. Um, just, you can hold down your space bar or you should be able, hopefully you can unmute you. If you're not, raise your hand and I'll unmute you. But you should, everybody should be unmuted who wants to be. Marilyn, go ahead. No, I was just going to say that, like, this time feels like a wandering through the desert, sort of, because it's so out of um, the range of any normalcy. Like, the space is... Um, um, I mean, this, um, the nice weather has sort of made it feel more like something familiar, but before then, it was a, a time, out of time, you know, it was um, formless, so I don't know how that relates to the forming a community in the desert, but there's a certain emptiness to a time when you can't leave the house and all the rules are different. Um, um, I, I mean, I, I guess the hope is that you'll form something better from this. I, th that, yeah, yeah. something more together, something more um, working together, more positive, more realizing your need for other people and their health. I don't know. Yeah, no, no, I, you, you stand alongside um, both Rebecca and many of our commentators who say we needed this vastness, you, you put it beautifully, this emptiness in order to be in a place to receive, right? It had to, we had to, to um, uh, be without, right? It, it is this, this, this uh, very difficult um, theology that says, um, not just that suffering brings reward, right? In, in, in this case, um, but that suffering also brings, right? And this emptiness and this wandering and this uncertainty in, in, for, our, for our ancestor, 
also brings empathy, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a very, that we learned ethically how to be a people, not just strategically, but ethically how to be a people as well in a kind of um, Bamidbar, right? In, in the wilderness, in, in, in the desert, uh, with, without, right? We, we know that it was a time of, of, uh, of hardship for our people. Yeah, there was somebody else had, I think, a hand up. Appreciate the contrast, is that the word? Yeah. Mom says, <clears throat> Can I have says appreciate Go the ahead. contrast between, the yeah. between what we have and what we don't. Right, 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 right. That we can, right, that we can appreciate the contrast and uh, the and the, the right, you know, kind of it's the the black and white, right? The white is much more stark against something black, and and uh, uh, so you know, would we have noticed if we were in Israel and, and all was well, right? Right, we don't know. It it it, it is a theology that that is uh, um, complex to say the least, right? Because it, it, it uh, begs many a question, many a question. Um, let me just, just uh, can I add something? yeah, please. I feel like for myself, <clears throat> like the um, like Israelites were like in limbo, right? They were not in, in Egypt, they were not in land of Canaan in the same way we find them in limbo. We're not in, we're not out, we're in between and we are waiting. It's a waiting period. So yes. I, yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. Up, I, I, it made me think that we like in limbo, like Israelites. Right. Right. Is that somebody on the phone who wanted to add something? No. Okay. Okay. So I, I, I just going back to the text for a second so that you can see it. Um, I, you, you know, I. Um, go ahead. No, no, I'm just clearing my throat. Uh -huh, okay. Um, uh, if you if you look at the text, you'll see. Let me see if I can get back into it. Um, uh, just even by way of, uh, I wanted you to be able to see all the names laid out like this, and and even without Ellen, thank you for for reading the beginning part. Even even without looking, even without reading all of the names, um, tell me what you notice, if anything. Lineage, son of, it's a son of, son of, right? Yeah, son of, son of, son of, right? So yes, correct. What we notice is that it's it's all um, men above the age of, above the age of uh, of twenty, right? Uh, that 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 are counted, right? So who isn't counted? Women, children, slaves. Right, right, right. So w w women most notably, right? Like when we look at our census, right? I'm hoping that everybody has filled out their census, right? Women, children, right? Configurations of, of households. So conspicuously we notice, right? That only those who have, um, who have a function right now in terms of, of, of service um, are counted as those who are men, right? Conspicuously missing are all those who can contribute to society. And thankfully, um, our counting takes on a different look, right? If we go on a little bit, we see this as well, right um, here. So Moses and, Merit and Aaron took those men who were designated by name. And on the first day of the second month, they convoked the whole community who were registered by the clans of their ancestral houses, the names of those aged 20 years, and over being less listed head by head as the eternal had commanded Moses. So he recorded them in the wilderness of Sinai. Again, right, we know that there are no superfluous words. There are no, uh, no duplications in our text without a reason that we are to notice, as you've correctly put it, that we are in the wilderness, right? They totaled as follows. Follows, and then we see the descendants of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, the registration of the clans of their ancestral house as listed by a name, head by head, all males aged 20 years and over, all who were able to bear arms, right? Those enrolled from the tribe of Reuben were 46,500. We know in, in all, anybody know the number of how many um, in total were counted in, in this particular census? A lot. <laughs> a lot uh, for them for them for those who are math inclined right anybody know six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty people were counted so a lot I think Alan you said a lot right I said a lot because the number is not really important and if every of the 70 people who came down to Egypt and were 
multiplied for 400 years, you couldn't have ever had that number of people, even if every woman was pregnant with twins at all times. Right? <laughs> right. You could right. never have gotten up to that number. Right. And so I think the significance of the actual number is overshadowed by the fact that it's a lot. Oh, right. A lot. Right. Yeah. yeah. Duly noted. Duly noted. Yes. Yes. I yes, also yes. want to comment on when we talked about this being um, an unformed and void area geographically, it kind of brings us back to creation where everything was in tumult and God had to um, make sense out of everything and arrange things and order things. And we're doing that again. We're going into a place where everyone's going to have the same experience and things will get ordered and we'll know, have a structure again. Mm -hmm. and, and one that is markedly different, right? One that, that necessarily is different. And, and the hope and the prayer is that we will have figured out both who is where, right, by our accounting, and who is best serve, who is best um, set up to serve in a certain capacity, right? We also and, know that there were people who came out of Egypt with us who were not Jews, who came out of prison, who were just right. a riffraff of, you know, they kind of thought, oh, let's all run out together. Right. And now we're organizing ourselves back right. again for the purpose of finding out when we get to where we're going, what will our inheritance be land-wise? Where will we go? How will we go from being one people to living in different places in one land? <laughs> right. Very important for us to keep track, right? To keep track for good reason, to know, um, uh, you, you know, not just where we are, but who we are, who is missing, right? And, uh, and, and who should be counted. This is a, a good opportunity for us to, to pay careful attention of that as well, which, which is a, a really good segue. Actually, I will um, let you know that uh, we're, we're glad, we're, we're so thankful. We'll, we'll, just before we do our bracha, uh, these are some other texts we will, uh, maybe I wanna take a quick look at them, but uh, but uh, these are some of the things that you've already touched on, right? I, I like the one by Rabbi Mordechai Katz, that just as the desert contains nothing but layers of sand, so too the human body is composed of nothing but human dust. But just as the desert was transformed into a holy place by the appearance of the divine presence, so too with human beings, they become a source of greatness if they allow their spiritual spark to dominate their actions. And I thought, what a beautiful, way for us to continue yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, to, to think things through. So we are, we are so grateful. Um, uh, John, I know you're on the phone, you're on, you're on Zoom with us. Uh, the, the Cavells had uh, a, a frightening, uh, potentially frightening moment. Um, and uh, uh, John, I don't know, are you, are you okay to let people know what happened? Yeah, you can. Um. Basically, we uh, there was an electrical fire, but we caught it um, right away, and so um, we're very, very lucky. Right. So, right. So, so, so grateful, uh, so thankful that they not only caught it in time, but they were uh, able to, to remain together and had some had, had some good supports. That that all of our first responders, to, to my understanding, John Wright, uh, mm -hmm. responded very quickly. And uh, and thank God, thank God, the family is, is all safe and and well through and passed through what could have been a very, very, uh, very scary time. So, uh, John and I were talking. It is a custom to to it's called benching gomel or or, or saying. Birkat Gomel, which is um, was historically a prayer that was said traditionally when you escaped great danger, when you uh, traveled through, over the, the seas and made it safely to your, your destination, when you uh, were released from, from bondage, from prison of some sort. So we, we benched Gomel. So um, I'm hoping that you can see John, John is going to recite the first part. And then at the very bottom where it says for both, that is our congregational response. And I'm gonna leave you unmuted and I know it's gonna be clunky, but I'm hoping that we can all together, um, that that gives uh, the, the equivalent of, of our full-hearted 
um, thanks and amen to to John's prayer on behalf of his family. So so John, if you're if you're ready, um, you'll read the part that says individual at the top, and then all of us together at the very bottom will read the section where it says for both, which really is really for plural. So we'll we'll offer this on behalf of the whole Cavell family. Baruch Atah Adonai Loheinu Melech Alam Gomel Lechayvim Tovot Shegmalani Kol Tov. And we say, Mi Shemalachem Kol Tov. Who Yimolachem Kol Tov Selah. May God, who has shielded all of you, John, all of the Kavals from harm be gracious to you always and we amen. say amen. amen amen you should know good health safety and uh, and and the support of the community always 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 we're here and, and so very grateful that you're okay Thank friends you. join us please uh, with our yes 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 we, we we go from our prayers of thanksgiving to the framing of, of Torah, right, and and, uh, and and that which keeps us strong and together as a community, even in this in this midbar, and uh, and we share the bracha uh, following Torah study. So, Cantor, if you would help us with that, please. <laughs> Amen, amen. And we are again muted as we turn to our concluding prayers. Uh, we'll open it up at the very end. Uh, we continue with the Elena. We ask you please in body or in spirit, please to join us as we rise. Oh, Cantor Braun, sorry. Hold on one second. Bron, sorry. I'm good. Yes. Please join me. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, and those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and every nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss of life and death. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at the season in years past and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. This is um, uh, the period of Shloshim that we, in the last 30 days, we are mourning the loss of Melvin Walks Press, father of Deborah Walks Press. This marks a yard site and anniversary of passing for Francis B. Abrams, Miriam Altman, Nathan Biren, Kenneth Kramer, Philip Citron, Angelo DiMatteo, Patrick Dougherty, Stephen Drexler, Rovi Faber, Morris Feldman, Arthur Fink, Sylvia Sue Friedlander, Bernard Golub, Alexander Harder, Shirley Jacobson, Ruth Kadelbach, Hilda Kyle, Lillian Kleinberg, Anna Coleman, Mildred Man uh, Manisowitz, Murray Pess, Anthony Price, Jeffrey Rubel, Thelma Sarnov, Jewel Scheller, Joanne G. Schoenfeld, Manuel Schwartz, Barbara Shavik, Benjamin Steinberg, Charles Elliott Steinberg, William Waddell Sr., and Lev Ziskin. If there are other names that you would add to the list, please would you add those into the chat now and we will 
remember them in our prayers. Zichram, Zichronam Livracha, may their memories all be for a blessing as we join together in the words of the Mourner's Kaddish. Yitkadal v'yit kadash shmei rabah, be'alma divrach yirutei v'yamlich mochutei, b'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayei d'chol b'ch Yisrael, b'agala v'zman kariv v'imru, amen. Yehi shmei rabah mevarach le'olam olmei olmaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nase, v'yit tadar v'yit halev v'yit halal shmei d'kudashah b'rihu, le'olam in kol b'rchata v'shirata, Tushbechata v'nechamata da'amiran be'elma v'imru amen. Yehi shlama rabba min shamaya v'chaim aleinu be'el kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mramav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu be'el kol Yisrael v'el kol yoshvei tevel v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all who are mourning, to all Israel as we join together in saying amen. And please be seated. Uh, we share with you these announcements just by way of reminder that uh, tonight we have Havdalah, a short service uh, to, to, uh, to say farewell to Shabbat, though not yet, right? You should enjoy the, the rest of this beautiful day. 7 p.m. is Havdalah, and, uh, and then we continue tomorrow morning. We have our end of school assembly at 10 um, and classes at 11.30 and 12 for confirmation and Kesher. Monday is Memorial Day, so um, typically we would say our office is closed, but uh, we are reachable if you need us, so be in touch if you need anything. Wednesday at 7 p.m. we will have our second installation of uh, the meditation, reflection, um, and conversation that is being offered by Marjorie Baker Price, so that's at 7 p.m. Thursday evening, please do join us as we welcome uh, uh, Shavuot, our, our services for Shavuot and confirmation. We have a wonderful class of uh, 12 10th graders who, um, who, are, who, are, who are going to be confirmed. And this year especially, um, given that we, we can't be in our physical space together, we are so hoping that you will join us um, for services for Shavuot and confirmation, 6 p.m on Thursday night. And then Friday morning, we have our, our joint Shavuot service and Yisker prayers with Brith Kodesh. That's at 10.30 a.m. And then services later that night at, at 6 p.m. Uh, next week, now week from today, we continue with, uh, with Torah study of Ezekiel at 9.15. And then we have our, our next bat mitzvah of Ari Reback, the daughter of Wendy Reback at 10.30. And, uh, and, and we know uh, that each of our, our, um, our Bar and Bat Mitzvah students are delighted uh, to, to feel your energy and to know that you are, are with them as they become Bar and Bat Mitzvah at this uh, most unusual but, but um, awesome time to, to really step into young Jewish adulthood in, in, an, in an altogether different way. Um, if you have any other announcements, anything else that you want us to know, um, you can either put it in the chat box or you can always be in touch with Mary or with Bobby. Um, or with one of us and let us know and we'll make sure it gets to, to, to the right place as well. Uh, and we will continue. Uh, if you have uh, Kiddush with you, if you have grape juice or wine with you, uh, in body or in spirit, you're invited to rise as we, we give thanks for the sweetness of the day and, and the holiness of the day and this time together with you. Baruch Amen. The clear grape juice, it's our favorite too at home. And join us please, uh, giving thanks for, for, uh, for, for that which is nourishing you and that which comes from this earth which has been given an unexpected rest and, and from which we yield. And, uh, and we give thanks for all that is good and sustaining. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech olam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. Amen, amen. The baby is so beautiful, my goodness. Hi. It's a beautiful, yeah.
Yeah, this is this is a wonderful song, right? That that together will change the world, and and we are seeing how those changes are taking place. It, it, it's not for us to complete the work, but certainly for us to do our part, and and for us to do our part together in this uh, in this time. Join us, please, as we continue in song. May God grant strength and good health and safety and community and enough of what each best needs to people in all places. May God bless our people with shalom, with peace, as we all together join. Don't say it yet. I'm going to unmute you all. We all together join in saying, Amen. 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 Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's adorable. He just changed all the settings. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at that. That's delicious. Uh, early learner there. <laughs> Monday. Oh, brings a smile to my face. Does he wave? <laughs> Levi, do you wave? Say hi. Say hi. Here's, Here's Candy Brown. Here's Marilyn. Hi, Lavy. Hello, Hi, baby. Hi, baby. And Arlene and Jerry and Rebecca and Donna oh. and Wendy. Woo. They're hiding in the woods there. <laughs> You know, Ellen, Ellen, most of us are, are, are um, very careful to dress carefully from the top to our waist. I like that he's shaking it up. <laughs> he's setting it yeah. Oh, so adorable. Great hairstyle. <laughs> Enjoy your time with him, Ellen. It is very precious. A good time. Marilyn, how's your new little one? He's growing. She's doing fine. Yeah. Are you yeah. able to, um, are you able to, I'm just sorry, I'm just 